hi thank you for joining me today um, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on using Anastasia's modern renaissance palette um, <clears throat> I have already done my makeup today so everything is set except for my eyeshadow um, I'll be using I'll be selecting eyeshadows and pointing them out as I go um, just trying a new look and I will begin so I'm going to be using this flat brush, it's kind of a large um, eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to be picking this um, eyeshadow called Love Letter. It's a lovely uh, burgundy matte, so it's going to be a nice color for the outer corner of my eye. I'm going to use about that much. I'm doing an ink like a straight line because I have hooded eyes. I'm just doing like a straight line out and then an angled line in and then filling in the center to do the outer corner. And I'm gonna do the same to the other to the other eye. And then just bring it in then I'll take this big fluffy brush and blend that in I didn't use a primer with this eyeshadow today. I'm going to use a little bit of Born Fresco, which is this brown shade um, right, right about here. And then I'm going to apply it kind of in the crease and then just kind of... Um, Buff that in and bring down a little bit of the burgundy. Now I'll probably be using um, Vermeer which is this, wait, where'd it go? Burnt orange, okay, yeah, it's uh, this one right here. It's a very shimmery champagne color. Then I'm gonna apply it right here. I'm going to take this smaller detail brush and I'm going to go back in with Love Letter. And use the buffing brush and buff it back in. I'm 
And that is the first look using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Renaissance, Modern Renaissance. Now on to look number two. For the second look, I will be applying some eyeshadow base. And I will be going in with some transition colors. I will take this big fluffy brush and I will begin with golden ochre. Golden ochre is this color right here. And then I'm just going to apply it in the, in the crease and buff that out. It's kind of the lower part and then just the center. A nice transition base. Now I'll go in with some raw sienna. For raw sienna, I'll take a different brush. Actually, I'll take a pencil brush and apply that in the crease. Then I will take a big fluffy brush and buff that in. Then <clears throat> I will go in with um, this detailing brush again, but in this case I will use red ochre, which is a lovely um, red brick, and I'll take, um, actually I'll change my mind, I'm going to use this concentrated buffing brush. And I will take that color and start working it on the outer corners and into the crease. Using the same brush, I'll take Venetian Red, or actually, um, yes, I'll take Venetian Red, which is this red right here, it's a little sparklier red, and I'll work it in into the outer corner, inner, inside of the outer corner, and then just kind of working it in again, kind of degradation.
in the outer corner but inside of the outer corner so it's kind of like a second inner corner or second outer corner an inner corner inside of the outer corner <laughs> Then I'll take the bigger blur, uh, buffing brush and buff those colors into the crease. Just kind of buff them. Then taking this flat brush, I'm going to take Primavera a very um, lovely sparkly neutral color and work that into the corner inner 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 corner Then I'll take a very small detail brush and I'll go in with red ochre, which again is that brick red, and then I'll go under the lower lash line. I will apply the eyeliner again and trace it to make it darker. And I'm using the Ciate Feline Brush. And I'll go over my lashes again with this Thick and Fast Mascara from Soap and Glory. And that's the finished look. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please do a thumbs up and subscribe.